Katie Lord joins us now through FaceTime. Welcome, Katie. Thanks for being with us. Hi. Thanks for having me. All right. You've got two sons. That's the youngest right there. Uh, tell us what you've been going through and how you've been forced to be uh, apart from your family. Well, like many nurses, I think our biggest fear in, in taking care of COVID positive patients is that we're going to bring it home to our families. And I think what we try to do to minimize the number of times that we come home to our families is to stay at a hotel in between shifts. And sometimes that means not seeing your family for five days, six days, sometimes weeks at a time. I even know nurses who have rented Airbnbs to stay away from their families for months. Wow. So. Um, we do what we can to try to connect with our families while we're at work, and there's FaceTime, and there's, you know, phone calls and saying goodnight via FaceTime, but um, this was something I was trying to do to make him understand exactly what it is I do, as much as a two-year-old can understand. Right. You're, you are an ICU nurse, so you are most certainly uh, on the front lines, and you, we, you've got this picture of you in your gear, but you also turned it into something that your two-year-old could understand. Talk about that. Yeah, um, he loves Buzz Lightyear. He's obsessed with Buzz Lightyear. And um, someone was talking about how we look like spacemen in those costumes. So um, my good friend Claudia at work and I came up with a drawing of Buzz Lightyear to do on the glass so that I could send it to him. And it's just a way that I thought maybe he could understand and I could meet him on his level to um, see mommy at work, but then understand that you know, mommy is in a spaceman suit, but it's not scary, and she's going to be okay. But he understands because it's Buzz Lightyear, and he really loved it. He really loved it. <laughs> what do you want people to know about what you're going through, what you're seeing in the hospital every day? Um, I guess I want people to know that it's real. You know, this is a real scary thing. And the social distancing thing that we're doing now is working. And it's important to stay inside, stay indoors for as long as we can. Um, these people are really, really sick in the ICU. And it's a very serious thing. But, you know, between us nurses, I think we just try to do what we can to keep it light at work and, um, and try to stay as positive as we can because if you let it, it can be really, really devastating. I mean, it's an anxious job. You know, we work really hard. And um, so we try to blow off steam wherever we can. And um, I think this is one way that we do it. We just try to, you know, smile where we can. And, and I think a lot of the nurses, too, we want to thank the community because we felt like so supported by everybody. We've had so many meals donated and scrubs and shoes and clothes. I mean, candy, even chocolate, like everything that we get from the community, it's been overwhelming the amount of support that we have from everybody. And that's really inspiring. It makes me want to be a better nurse, really. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Awesome interview.